In this video, we will resolve the reduce the impact of third party code. So you may have a third party services embedded on your website like a social security plugin or a Google Analytics or analytical plugin or something which is not related to your website and maybe installed for various elements or various functionality on your website like mail integration like analytical integration or font integration or something like that and in this video we will learn how to reduce the impact of that on your lcp which is the largest contextual paint so without further ado let's get started so here i have already already my website and the score is pretty low which we are going to rectify and here as you can see what it says it says third party code can significantly impact of your poor performance which is obviously a limit the number of redundant third party providers and try to load third party code after your page has been properly primarily finished loading and in the, in the first part we will be doing for the non wordpress user if you are not a wordpress user then you are focusing on the right video and here as you can see there are different codes which is get requested from third party website like here in the address so what you need to do is if you have multiple third party code embedded on your website then you should choose any alternatives that you can apply on your website here i can i don't have a alternative to google services from a g tag or recapture or APS which I already use for the analytical part and there is add this add this is if you don't know about social sharing plugin and if I open my website let me go to the home page and after it loads it also loads this particular panel which is social sharing plugin I need to know that it actually helps me or if there is an alternative solution to it obviously there are many alternative solution to it because I can manually add icon using my own icons using my own branding then getting my data from this particular plugin which is the add this if you have a bigger website and if you want to track your all sharing then you should not be deleting this i don't mind and i don't really care about the sharing of my pages on different platforms so i won't be needing this so i've deliberately add this to let you know how to actually delete it so to reduce the impact of third party code either you can delete it or you can defer load it so i don't recommend to defer load anything just delete that if you have an alternative solution so i can add alternative solution of adding my own code to it by adding any services so if you want me to make a video how to add your own social sharing code to your website without any plugin or third party sources then you can ask for that in the description box so for that part what i'm going to do is go to my file manager and going to the footer there will be a only two places that can actually be built in either in the footer or in the header page and i will search for add this so there's no code of add this here so it may be on the header there is the header so there it is so this is for the add this so let me delete it so as you can see there's no more add this plugin on my website let me just save it all and close it down and afterwards if you have any caching plugin installed on your server side you should delete that from the server such that you will see all changes on your website as we can see yes it has been deleted and let me re-audit it see if it does increase any score for our website so if you have any third party codes there if you have alternative or solution for it delete that part and try that alternative solution so I already said that don't use over or I would say don't use server just for the sake of effectiveness. So here let me see. Yes, it has been deleted, but there is third party code block the main thread for this. So there's also a diagnostic where I have to delete some of from here. As you can see the add this has been gone. So there is some APIs which has been used to get the data and here is the jQuery plugin which I need. There is also a recapture CSS style and there's a recapture and there's a Google Tag Manager and the Google Analytics. So the protection savings are huge here, but I don't mind having it because deleting such thing will impact on my analytics path, which we use for our internal purposes. So let me see the other codes down there going to the header and here is the Google Tag Manager. So GTM. So if you have a different codes for your analytics as well as other like uh, Google search console something like that you should use GTM because it just it centralizes all the process you don't need to add different codes for your website which we already done the video of how to set up your GTM how to set up Google search console and analytics for 
using gtm so you should watch that video so i m must be needing this so i don't think i have any alternative to it so i don't mind having this particular diagnostics so i know it impact on my website loading speed but what can i say it does need for my website one thing i can do is to delete the recapture services here is the recapture service i can delete that but i won't be deleting that also because because it need it actually needed on my website to find all the bots which has to run automated run audits on my website which we already have website audit tool so one thing i can do is there is the jquery main.js i can just download this particular plugin and or download this particular file and host on my own cdn services so and for that part it may reduce all the time that i actually there or it may reduce the server response time or the third party code part and if we go to the header here let me search for the jquery oh yes so there is a jquery plugin which is being used or i will say a jquery library which is being used from google apis so i can easily replace that with my own so what i am going to do is going to host that jquery main.js to my own server so that will be also with another tip for you or tutorial for you to host such files or such crucial files onto your own server or a cdn network so how so how to do that just follow this go to your cdn network only for the non wordpress website because for the wordpress we have a different method i am going to bunny going to my storage zones so if you don't know how to set up storage zone and pull zone then you can just ask for a video and if you already know it by now then just ignore it and here i will be uploading that file and click on upload and to create a file i will be creating a new text file right here jquery.main and i will rename that in a bit yeah there is a code i will be just copying pasting it click on upload uh, open that paste that click save close it down and rename that as js obviously click yes so there it is let it upload so there is the file name let me see if it is working cdn.web.com jquery.min.js so yeah it's working let me just copy that and paste it just right here in the source section replace that url of third party url with your own and i will be adding a defer to it obviously to reduce more load time click save it is saved let me just close it and if there's any plugin you are using off the on server side just reload that and now just reordered this let's see if it does have any impact on reduced third party code just wait for a few minutes it will get reload all the data for us and also to see if it's actually working on your website just reload your website and see if everything is working fine if everything working is not fine then you just revert back to the original source so there it is it has a or reduce some timing to 760 ms which was 960 ms earlier so that's about it so that's how you can actually do it on your non wordpress website and to the wordpress website the cache plugin you are already using it already made to do that so to restrict or reduce the third party services if uh, even after installing this particular plugin it's not working then what you need to do is you need to disable all those plugins that actually affecting your site's performing speed so you may have different plugins out there if you have a social share plugin that like i've already done you can easily replace it with your own links if you want me to add or create a video to add social sharing link on your wordpress or on wordpress website without any plugin then i will create a video on it so here you may have a plugin that can be easily replaceable then you can just delete this if you don't need anything or any fancy software which you can actually replace it with your own code or you may not be needing it first is delete those plugin even if that doesn't resolve then you need to go and check your themes footer and header files from where you can actually apply or delete those plugins easily to see and audit where your third party codes are coming from and you can edit delete those from the header or the footer files and to access your header or footer files go to the appearance theme file editor and here you will find your header and footer files here here is the header and here is the footer from where you can actually find third party code where you can add or delete it easily so i hope you got to know how to reduce third party codes response time just by using such tactics which you have already explained here if you have learned something from this video click the like button if you want to learn much more of core web vital then you can just subscribe to this channel so see you in the next video until then bye bye